Okay, so I've been wanting to say this for a really long time and say it publicly and, and put this idea out there. I've been trying behind the scenes to build this, but really it just needs to get out of my head and out there to you. Why do we not have a, a really well-designed user interface for political decision making? I'm calling for this now. I'm calling for, if you are a visionary, if you are a programmer, if you are a UX designer, I want to find you, I want to talk to you. We all need to find each other and really think this through because I think there's, there's a solution here. There's a way we can do this. There's a way we can build something that's simple enough um, that it can engage. Uh, like everyone has a smartphone. Everybody from inner city to outer city to everywhere, everyone's got them. We could all, we, if we had an um, interface that started to personalize itself, match us to candidates, um, start to like like and dislike the decisions they make, have transparency and do who um, they're tra they, based on their platform, are they following through at the timeline they followed through on? Like we have performance reviews when we go to work. Why don't these people have performance reviews for us? We should be able to track with their progress and, and weigh, that, weigh in on their decision making all along the way. It should be real time. I should be able to interact with every candidate in real time. And yeah, we can kind of do that on a Facebook like page, but I think there needs to be something specifically built for this. And plus, I don't think it should be a corporate owned thing, which can be influenced once again, like we've seen so many times. Like, ah, sorry, I'm kind of on a soapbox right now, but I don't know. I, I don't, I, this is just a feeling that I'm having and I, and I hope that if there's others out there that want to collaborate on this, I think this is this is our country, this is our land, and we've grown so used to this sort of like disenfranchisement um, that we don't go to the voting booth anymore. And look what happened because of that. Like they manipulated us the whole way through. The news edged out all of the real candidates and left us with the two fearful choices. You gotta pick the lesser of two evils? Like what kind of country is that? That's not free. When we, back in the day, right? It made sense to have representatives that you elected every four years, right? Um, because you, I'm not gonna get in a horse and buggy and like listen in on every little decision. I'm like, oh, I trust you. You're gonna make, you can make a decision on my behalf. And, but now, first of all, like back then, you kind of had a chance of knowing your representatives. Now it's like we have a big country, um, which is quite divided as we found out um, because they forced us to divide. Like we don't have issue-based politics. We vote on Republican or Democrat. Like what? This is a way more complex landscape in 2016 uh, than to just call it heads or tails like that. Um, anyway, I, 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 I'm a little bit on a soapbox, I realize, but I just, uh, ah, I just need to get this out, get it off my chest. And maybe others, I'm just like going through my coping of this election and, and I feel like I'm kind of doing it in isolation here, you know, at work at the end of the day, but I, I feel like um, there's got to be others of you out there that are thinking about this. Um, let's like get a think tank together. I mean, the, fa the founding fathers did this back in the day when things came to a point of tyranny. Why can't we do that now? As free Americans, we are free to think through ways to evolve our democratic process. I'm not saying throw out the system, not, no, not some like anarchy thing, that's dumb. Frankly, like it, we have the bones of a really good system and coupled with things like social technology, um, being able to have like real-time uh, visibility into what our candidates are doing. For having our candidates have real-time visibility into what their constituents think would be helpful for them so that we can truly puppet them, so that we can truly, they can be public servants again. They shouldn't have to, they shouldn't have to like sell their souls to, to corporations just to get elected. We should have a, a platform in which anyone can put, I mean, God, I w someone could have just created their platform on uh, via YouTube videos and, and some structure of just saying, this is what I want to do with the budget of the country and why and when, and here's my 
business or political career or whatever it is, there has to be, there's so many amazing people in America. How did we wind up with this? How did this happen? Like, it's crazy. Um, I mean, I have very, a lot of respect for Miss Clinton and, you know, Mr. Trump. Like, you've done well in business, but your heart is not something I trust to lead my country. I'm sorry. And Clinton, yours neither. You know, like, I, I don't even think, and, it, and the issue isn't about the person leading. It's the whole process leading up to choosing the per leader that was so, like, ew, ah. Yeah, like, we could do better than this. That's all I'm saying. We can do better than this. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Because what's going to happen is, like, we're all freaking out right now, but it's going to slip into apathy. This is what happens in America. We'll give it a few weeks. We're just kind of going to roll over, or at least that's the track record. I'm not, I don't want to, like, put a, a dark vision of, of what could be out there, but let's get focused is all I'm saying. Let's get focused. Um, the spirits are saying, yeah, I don't know. Something just fell over back there. Um, sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, I'm gonna stop ranting, but part one, um, I'm going to this political, uh, this sort of like, this sort of like, uh, this gathering in Seattle tomorrow where we're all going to kind of like process our emotions about what happened here in the election and then think about actions we can take. I'm hoping to meet some of you there, but this is a this is an online connected world. I'm gonna post this publicly and if any of you are out there that resonate this and want to get together and really talk about this, we need to create an online forum for this. I don't want to see this turn. I don't want some platform like this to become a startup something that gets back, that has some revenue stream, whatever. No, it needs to be owned by the people. It needs to be owned by its users. Every user has to have an equal share in this whole thing, whether it's the person building it or it's a person using it. This needs to be done so that it is foolproof for the, uh, uh, corruption proof is what it needs to be. That, it needs to be set up for success. So I'm talking about something huge, a big idea and I know it's like kind of far-fetched, but it's not. It's like our government spends billions and billions of dollars. Why can't we spend, a, like this would be a few, maybe tops like five to 10 million to create a system like this. We can pull from existing data feeds that essentially represent all of the decision making that's happening at every level of government. We can have, if we have a match.com to match us to people and 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 like pages to tell us what we care uh, to filter relevant information to us we should be able to create a system leveraging all of these existing apis and tools to just create a create an interface in which um relevant information and decision making get, gets to the right people whether you are just you know an 18 year old or a 19 year old or a 50 year old or a 60 year old or a 70 year old, you live in Washington, you live in Florida, you have different opinions, you single mother, you're whatever. It doesn't matter what your, your race specifics are, but we should be able to create a system in which your vote matters. And it's not just the vote for president, it's the vote for smaller things in your life, things on the local level and things on the national level that affect you. If you weigh in on, like you shouldn't be reduced to this binary. We should be answering 20 questions, 30, 50 questions about what we actually feel on a number of issues. And then we should be filtered information that impacts what um, these issues, like real time. And um, some people will not want to involve themselves, but I think a lot of us would do. Like, we care. A lot of us care. We just don't have an easy way to actually influence and interact with our representatives. And by the way, representatives should be more fluid. You don't need, there should be something between, like, a congressperson or a, like, I feel like there should be opinion, there are opinion leaders out there that we respect. Um, and well, let me let me think more about. I'm I'm going into. I'm just like diving into the details. I just think that there can be, you know, the same sort of like 
like and follower system that we see as a convention elsewhere could be applied in the political arena with people that are not professional politicians, they're just really involved in politics and they know a lot and people might follow their, we already have this via blogs and stuff, but just there needs to be a space where it is just about the political process. Okay, I'm getting redundant. I can tell I'm going in circles, so I'm gonna stop here. But um, my name is Derek Morrison. You can reach out to me on Facebook or you can reach out to me um, via email. My email is radrickthecosmonaut at gmail. R-A-D-R-I-C-K-T-H-E-C-O-S-M-O-N-A-U-T at gmail.com. Hit me up. All right. All my love. All my love, America. All my love. Man, we have to come together. We have to change this. We can totally do this. We can do this. This is just one idea. We need to have, like, seriously, founding mothers and fathers 2.0. Let's, like, get together in our, and, 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 like, this, I'm kind of glad Trump won in a way because it's, like, we, th this is going to cure us of our apathy, maybe. Maybe now we care enough to actually do something. Um, let's do it. Let's just do something. Let's, let's be, yeah, let's get inspired. Let's get passionate. Let's get action oriented. Yeah. Okay. Innovators, hackers, passionate, visionaries. Where are you? Where are you, tribe? Where are you? All right. Signing off. Derek, I'm looking for you. Bye.